G'day folks, it's me again. Well, for tonight's quick little video, we're going to be looking at this lamp. It's a nice big one again. So let's have a closer look. And here it is. It's a Sylvania H36GV-1000. Made in the USA. And it's a clear 1000 watt mercury vapour lamp with no colour correcting phosphor layer on the outer envelope. Obviously because it's clear. The idea with the phosphor layer obviously is it lowers the colour temperature to 4000 Kelvin and greatly improves the colour rendering. But obviously this hasn't got it so the colour temperature of this lamp is about 5900 Kelvin and the colour rendering index is very very poor. The light from this is really offensive to be honest but it's a nice big clear mercury lamp quite un unusual to see in the UK because obviously this is an American lamp it's got an E39 socket obviously we use E40 in the UK and it's also a high voltage lamp so the dark voltage is 250 volts and the arc current is 4.3 amps normal 1000 watt mercury lamps in the UK are normally low voltage types so the arc voltage one of them is around 140 volts with an arc current of 7.5 amps so you can't use them on the same gear so well I've got right gear to fire it up but let's fire it up and uh, we should get a really good view of that arc all right we're all connected up ND filters on ignition in three two one go see it starts off in the low pressure stage and then as the pressure increases the arc will decrease in thickness until it gets to the high pressure phase and then it's that's very blue 7 amps 22, oh, 22 volts sorry starts off really low voltage just uh, tweak the filter a bit just so we can see the discharge better there we go I might fast forward this we can see some uh, mercury evaporating there up to 28 volts still 7 amps 29 30 volts, 31, 32. You can already visibly see the discharge column is thinning out as the pressure as the pressure increases. 40 volts, 50 volts, we're going up now. Fifty-eight. bit more ND oh yeah 62 volts at 6.8 amps so it does take quite a while to run up oh and that's getting bright very bright eighty three volts at six point six amps ND filters almost at max and it's getting quite bright hundred volts six point three amps Put my glasses on now because that's starting to hurt my eyes a bit. One thing with the clear lamp is obviously the uh, phosphor layer will absorb the UV. Obviously that's how it works, but this hasn't got any, so oh that's better. 140 volts, 5.9 amps. I'm going to change the aperture. There we 
Tango F-16. Bit less of the ND. 5.5 amps, 175 volts, so we're almost there. Horrible light quality though. The thing about lamps like this is uh, the colour rendering is just horrible. I mean, you look at skin and it makes skin look horrible. At least with low pressure sodium you can get away with it because it's such a warm temperature, but Starting to bow upwards now, anyway. The arc. Let's get quite warm. Two hundred and thirty volts, four point six amps. Getting very close now. Two hundred and forty volts, four point five seven. Almost at full power. Total power draw from the mains from the gear is 1200 watts. Just under 6 amps from the Variac. Bit more ND. Obviously, it's, that's how bright it is if you wind the ND off. If you wind it back in, you can see the arc stream. Two hundred and forty-four volts at four point five. That's at full power. Almost. Right then, I think I'll get the macro lens off and we'll uh, see if we can get some nice shots of those electrodes that is one long arc stream right then macro lens time right we've got the macro on and we can observe one of the electrodes there the this charge is actually branched off into two points, which is uh, quite unusual. You wouldn't think it would do that, but these electrodes are impregnated with various oxide materials to help improve the electron emission. And obviously there must be some in between the coils. They must be a little slightly bit more emissive than the thoriated tip, which is where it's designed to go. But once that's consumed, after maybe 100 hours, the discharge will stabilise into one point. Sometimes you can actually see on uh, new lamps, the arc stream actually dances around the electrode. There's a video of that on my channel somewhere. I took that years ago. I think it's called something like the arc stream dance. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, you can uh, check it out. I'll put the link in the description if I can remember. Anyway, I uh, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching, if you're still here, and uh, be sure to check back later because I've got some other interesting lamps I might do a video on, if I can be bothered. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to completely open the variable ND, and then I'm going to switch it off. Actually, I'm going to reduce the aperture as well, just so you can see how much the electrodes glow. When you turn the power off. Mm, no. Still much too much ND, but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye now.